Hey guys, it's Rob, aka El Burko here, and I'm still trying to get over that uh, Lego Super Mario Existential Crisis, but I'm dealing, and I'm here with my own creation, a uh, cake store that I'm actually entering for Miles Bricks. He's another fellow YouTuber slash Lego tuber slash brick tuber, whatever we call ourselves. He has a mock contest going on over in his channel, so give him a follow or sub if you're not following him already, and uh, while you're at it, if you want to sub to my channel, like, gently tap that like button, add me on, whatever you guys want to do. I'd appreciate it. Leave a comment, etc., etc. So there's a sleeping me off over there. He had a rough Friday night. This is Saturday now. And this is the set I came up with for that contest. I just call it cakes. I don't know if you guys have seen these around hipster neighborhoods. They're like very high-end boutique cake shops. In fact, the first time I saw one that went all the way out was in London. Um, I, I went over there on um, a business trip, you could call it, which is really just me trying to find the Lego store in Leicester Square, which is awesome, by the way. And there's a cake shop uh, by another fancy dessert place called Dominic Ansel, and the cake shop was super pink. And I really like those pastel colors on Lego. So I decided to just do something like that. It just started with me working with pastel colors and I remember the cake shop in London, who the name I can't remember. If I do, I'll put it up, but I genuinely can't remember it. But that's what inspired this. It's an upscale boutique cake shop, dessert shop. And the idea is, the only rule that Miles put up on his channel was to make everything on 32 by 32 base plate, which I followed through on here. And I wanted to work with these. I got a bunch of these in first, and I really like that that like wooden pink tile color. But unfortunately, I I couldn't find anything else that would work to fill in spots like this. So I had to use regular pink blocks, and then the, those regular pink blocks ended up coming in handy to use a second floor. So I thought this would be the good foundation, and then the second floor would be just regular. Just a regular uh, wall color, um, just regular smooth smooth bricks, unmodified. So let's let's begin at the top. Behind cakes, I just modif I used a bunch of modified tiles, flat tiles for the C and the, C and the S, and then used a bunch of uh, flat tiles for the A K E uh, A K E. Wow, I'm forgetting my letters already. It's been a while, guys. Sorry. Next up was adding details. So like I said, I was kind of inspired by these like ideas of these like gaudy fancy buildings that had like a mansion facade to them. So the stairs came in there. I wanted to make sure the stairs are wide because you want to make sure you have wide stairs to show off like the elegance. So the stairs are, are six uh, bricks wide. They narrowed down over here because I wanted to fit a table of people eating on the, on the outside. Then you have some patio standing, freestanding area on the, on the outside. At the end, after I finished the build, actually, I ended up thinking, well, it'd be fun to have some type of seating for people waiting in public transportation, Ubers, uh, anything like that in the front. And then I added a light post because obviously you need some light. I decided to keep grass as the terrain because I, I just think it's the kind of, it, it would look, it would add in a natural feeling to the building. So I kept that in. Just threw in a bicycle in there, and I'll go over the people who are standing there and what they're doing in, uh, uh, towards the end of the video. Looking at the back, I had added in some stairs, and that's going to be important because I'm going to show you guys what's in the basement in a minute. So, I had some issues with making sure this pops in, and that's my own fault. And that's probably the one thing I would change at the end of the buildings. It, it will, it will set in. See, it'll set in. But the the main issue I had as, was actually running out, running out of Azure tiles. Uh, it's not a common color in Lego, and I had to order a bunch for some other another mock I was making. So the this is pretty much what I had left over. Let me show you guys. Give me one second. So see, this is what I was trying to show you with you guys from before. The reason it won't pop all the way in. If I pop it all the way in, it gets stuck. It kind of aligns the the roof aligns with the pieces of the second floor, and it's a hard uh, time pulling it out. In fact, when I did pull it out, this piece got stuck. And the reason that, that that happens is that, like I said, I ran out of smooth tiles. 
had these, but then I ran out of the ones that were just completely smooth for this. And again, that's just, it's a matter of having a little bit more time to finish it up. It should be, I should be able to get some replacement parts for this, but for now, it'll work. I, I wanted to finish this by Miles' deadline, which is on the 16th. Today's the 15th of August. So for now, that works. It's a suitable, it's a suitable replacement. It's just something that I'm going to have to fix permanently for, well, the permanent final uh, build of this. But I think this is as final as in, it needs to be for the contest. So looking at the inside, I've got the door, Azure, Windows, Glass. Went with a white frame, again, to stick with the color combination. The inside is very straight, very basic, very straightforward. There's one table over here. I tried to make sure that all the uh, pots and the cups were also a pink color, but I think this is dark pink or some different variation of pink, not necessarily pink pink. There's some desserts. There's two people eating right there. Person paying. Cast register, that's actually from the friends, one of the friends sets. This is an old cash register I have from way back in the 90s that I just pulled uh, pulled aside. Here's some cakes. This is the display case. So in these boutique shops, you don't have a lot of their options. You actually just have a few placed out and people come in and pick from the few that they have and somehow they make a rat. This is an angry Karen figure. I forget where she's from. That's definitely a Karen look right there. She's mad that her cake order was messed up. And we have cookies, we have croissants, we have a pie, we have a quiche. For the workers, I picked this outfit. I really like that outfit. It's from one of the uh, blind, blind bags. The CMFs. I forget what series. I think it was on where they had the... The anniversary of the 20th uh, one where they would come with a cake because I ended up using that piece in something else I'll show you in a second but that I wanted that to be the uniform of the of the workers who are working on on the top there we go uh, I might as well show you guys the people who are eating here so this is a dad he's with his two kids he's really stressed out because one kid is way too young is putting some coffee into her sister's cup and her sister doesn't like the fancy food and she's throwing up and there's a salad right there because he, he's a grown-up and having a salad because I guess that's what grown-ups do even though I'm a grown-up technically and I don't eat salads and probably should but anyways garbage can so that's the first floor I think I said first floor, that was the second floor. This is the first floor. So I had the idea that this basement would be really spacious, there'd be a lot of room to maneuver. And I ended up putting a fridge, as you guys can see over there. That's a fridge made out of these two by one, two by two by six door frames. There's some of the older door frames, not the narrow ones that you see like over here. These are twice as wide, but I combined those to make a fridge. And that's how you get the thick look like that. Then this is the actual oven where a lot of the baking is done for the store. That's the oven itself. I put in a uh, temperature gauge right there to make sure that the oven was hot enough. You open it up, there's a pie cooking. Ooh, need a little bit more light, let's see. There's a pie in there cooking. Then it put the the modified tiles that look like grates there to show off kind of like the grill. That's a chef cooking with the pan. That is obviously the burner, the kitchen uh, stove area. This is the kitchen fan, the kitchen um, bell, I think is the term that keep restaurants use where the uh, smoke is sucked up. Especially for a basement, you wanna have good ventilation. And this is why I put up the stairs because as you can see, the chefs will come out, they'll bring food up once the second floor is out of, out of desserts. So turning this around, I left that open because I had to uh, put in one more gray plate. That's where another worker would be. Otherwise they're like that. I can put in some gray tiles there to make sure that the people fit in but for for now like I said that's fine 
That's a sink. That's one of the dishes that that workers were uh, cleaning up. This chef over here is just preparing the food that's going to go upstairs. They're, they'll take the orders downstairs and they'll prepare them. They'll prepare the drinks like you see the the um, drink dispose, uh, dispose. What's a word I'm looking for? Drink dispository unit, uh, tea kettle. There we go. Kettle of tea. What a whatever it's called anyways um brain brain issues right there uh and they're just he's giving a quality check to the items at the end lastly this is the wedding cake that they prepared it's actually based off of that wearable lego suit that those characters would have there's a i just put it on those two pieces but this is a lego cake that those characters were wearing in the blind bags I thought that was a cool piece, so I just added some pink blocks in the middle, added in some miniature Lego pieces on top to stand for the uh, the bride and the groom. I thought I had some black miniature figures, uh, I think I do, but I couldn't find them on time, so I just used the green one to stand for the bride and groom. So that's the inside of the restaurant. So that's the set all put together again. I was able to connect the pieces for the roof. And all lodge is in there well enough, but like I said, I need those flat tiles so that I can take it off with more ease. I ended up using these square blocks, flat ones, but flat bricks for the wall because they just don't make any of the modified pink ones here. So, you know, I tried to make it uh, as little as noticeable, noticeable as possible. And I just left one little Easter egg for myself, and that's this figure right here. He's actually one of the first minifigures I ever owned. He's from a camping set by a River from back in the, the early 90s. If I remember, I'll put it up on the, uh, on the video right now. But he's complete with his 90s cell phone and the hat for that's derived about 25 years of ownership. It's actually squeezed a little, squished. But I really want to use them again just kind of to pay homage to myself. That sounds kind of very arrogant, but you guys know what I mean. Just kind of like a, a fun thing for myself. But that's it. That's my mock entrance for Miles Briggs. Like I said, give him a follow, give him a subscribe if you're not already doing so. And you guys, if you like, hit subscribe for me, hit like. Let me know what you would change too. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I would just add in the, the flat tiles, maybe actually put in some more bricks to give more more uh, hold to the roof. But otherwise, I like how it came out. Oh, and I would uh, add in a pink, pink uh, circular tile over here to uh, you know match a little bit better, coordinate a little better. But otherwise, I like it. If you guys like it, if you don't like it, let me know what you think and appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by. See you. Take care. And I hope Meowth wakes up soon. I gotta use a pokey flute to wake him up. But anyways, see you guys.